Of course, if you're using a ready-made pop song, you haven't got the challenge of creating original sound, which can be quite tricky, especially if you use video, because the microphone in the recorder isn't enough by itself. So, we went to talk to Rupert uh, Murray, a professional sound recordist in Manchester, about the problems. Okay, plug it up, and we're off and running. We caught up with him on location for a school series. This particular sequence is about bypasses and traffic. Not the most exotic of subjects, but Rupert's the sort of guy who's so enthusiastic about his job that he can make the sound of a clapped out Datsun Cherry sound like Ali Jones singing over the wings of a dove. Standing by. Turn over. Okay. Running. Well, as a sound recordist, you're one link in a, a long chain. Are you suggesting? The most important thing as a recorder is the teamwork between yourself and the cameraman. Now, in the work that a lot of us do, which is documentary filming, there's often never a chance for a second take. So you have to know exactly what the cameraman's after, and you must keep your eye on him, and if you start zooming out again, you pull back. But all the time, watching him, the cameraman shoots it, you are his ears, you're the viewer's ears. So often things that a recordist is listening for are distractions. Stra things like, obviously, the, 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 the never-ending fight of planes going overhead, um, pneumatic drills, doors slamming at a bad time during an interview. Um, so you must all the time remember and think of keeping the background as clear and clean as possible so that it can come in and out, the editing can, can be coming in and out all the time without causing undue uh, problems. It sounds odd, but the recordist often doesn't actually know what was said because he's so intent on listening to the starts and the ends of words and the way in which um, the sound's being developed for the picture that the content isn't so much his worry, it's how it's being recorded and the way in which it's being recorded and if it's clean, if there are overlaps, if there are good starts and finishes um, to sequences. So all the time, listing for things that could distract the viewer. You need, you need to watch and wait till the car comes because they're actually quite a lot closer. Yeah, OK. All right, well, I'll go on down then. Video sound is inherently pretty bad, full stop. Um, it's getting better as the generations of video cameras improve. Um, but it's still a long, long way to, to meet the kind of quality that Nagras here can resolve. So a lot of video cameras what you need to do is to understand what can be done later in the post-production, how wild tracks can be spooled in later. The main thing to do with video sound is get the dialogue as clean and as clear as you can. I think one of the things about being in this, this business is that if you, it doesn't really owe you a living. You do it on a, on a in a way you're only as good as your last job. Um, but if you work well and work hard and enjoy it, you'll probably always be working anyway and it really is a great job it's a terrific job it's like being it's like eating a load of chocolate eclairs and being paid for it it's a marvelous job very lucky and you agree with me too <laughs> <laughs>